Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! So last time we defeated four duelists and that was Taya, Tristan, Mai, and Mako. And this time, it's time for Joey. So let's do this. So Joey, um, I guess he uses warriors. It's gonna be like all Sogan maybe, I'm assuming. Let's see. Actually, no, it's a nice mix. Okay. That's fine, I guess. It wasn't a Tristan's like this, or who was it? I don't even know. So let's see. The Judgment Hand. See, I can make Judgment, but the only thing is, though, I don't really know how. Like, I freaking forget sometimes. I really do. I'm just gonna put this card. Move forward, and turn. So his uh, leader is the Flame Swordsman. Get yeah, power increase. I gotta see what he's putting in the graveyard, just to be sure. So he threw away Baby Dragon and he powered it up with Kunai with Chain, the monster. So it's either a warrior or a beast warrior, I see. Which means that it's not going to benefit from the mountain. So I can probably kill him. You know what? I'm going to go for it. It might be a little bit stupid to do this, but I'm going to go for it. Is that a Axe Raider? Wolf Axe Wheel, never mind. It looks like an Axe Raider for some reason. Okay, so I killed him, but I got spellbounded. Freaking earth, killing wind. Okay, what you got next? Let's see, a card in the wasteland territory moving up. So let's see if I got something to kill you. Not really, unless this makes the freaking, I don't know, the judge man? It might, actually, it might. Yeah. I guess it's a warrior with a judgment hand. They should make that. Judge man. Oh, that's a spell card only. Okay. That's cool. I can't move forward. Because I'm freaking spellbound. Four cards. Really? That is extremely interesting. The fact that you managed to do that. Wait, that was Flame Swordsman? You buffed him up with three things. What the heck? So I killed that. Okay, you gave him... You threw away... Wait, what? No, no, that's, that's the card that I destroyed. Yeah. Kunai with Chain. Another Kunai... That's already three Kunai with Chains. And you give him a Salamandra. Holy crap. How am I gonna kill this guy? Huh. I'm trying to think here as to what I can do. Because I could do that. I can then move the Judgment a little bit over that way. I mean, he spawned for three turns, well, that's fine. He can't do much with them anyway. And then for Forest... I don't know, actually. That's a, that's a tough one. I'm just going to go ahead and put this card for now. Because that's going to buff me up to a little bit more, but not enough quite yet. That only buffs up by 600. It put me at 2,900, but I'm still a little bit short. Okay, enter. Damn, how many power increases do you have? Another Salamandras? I mean, you're going to use your three kunai with chains, man. You can't have a fourth one in your deck. Axe of Despair. Beast Warrior or Fiend, then. Okay. Ooh, I could use Manny to kill him. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I think I'm for sure gonna do that. So I'm gonna move you up here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to attack you like this. What? Shit, are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Wait, how did you do that? How did you... Oh. oh. Wait, Beast Warriors get buffed up in Forest? I did not know that. Why didn't I know that? That's crazy. 
Okay, I'm killing you, dude. I'm killing you. Stupid flame swords when you're gone. Okay, so you're probably gonna kill my freaking man eater bug. I don't really care. See, I should have used Windstorm with Taco. I should have. But. That's fine. I mean, I'm gonna take a hit. Darn it. Oh well. Okay, I thought you would do that. So now we're a mountain, so I can do some pretty heavy damage to you. Yeah, oh boy, man, you're going down. You are going down, dude. I can't move you, though, so I gotta go ahead and move back one. And then summon this guy. Activate Windstorm of Itaqua. To buff up both the monsters. This will put me at like 3,100 or something versus what? You're gonna take 2,000 points of damage. Yep. Oh man, dude. You got screwed. Look at that. Shit. I always got spellbound. I'm gonna move you there. And I can't do much, much else. At least I have my winged eagle now. Are you freaking kidding me? How many damn equipped cards do you have? Like seriously? This guy, man. Two legendary swords. That buffs up by 500. Warrior Monster of the Blighter Earth. What the heck? What are you doing now? What are you planning now, man? You're scaring me. I guess I could make it there. I don't think that's gonna... Oh, shit. I'm gonna put you in forest. Darn it! Wait. What? Oh, wait. I got confused. I, th I thought the credit you buffed up was that one. So I guess it's this one then? I see. this one though. Okay, all done. Take your turn, Joey. Let's see what you got. A fusion this time, okay. Okay, there we go. So now your uh, power decrease and you are spellbound. Metal Dragon. You're dead, yes. Okay, let's see what I can do now. So, Guilt to the Dark Knight has 2250 attack. Not much I can do. But, I could do this. Ha 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 ha! You lost. You lost, Joey. Okay, I beat you. So let's see him. This guy has some pretty interesting cards, for sure. I just want to see what I want here. A lot of equips. He has baby. He has baby dragon, but I don't really know what I want. Just go ahead and get through random shit. I don't really care. Metal dragon, flame swordsman. Ooh. Okay. Nice cards there. Definitely nice. Okay. Who the hell's calling me? Oh, some number. I don't know. See, recently I've been getting a bunch of freaking, like, spam numbers that just, like, you recently won a trip to the Bahamas. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, seriously? Like, who falls for that nowadays? Like, do people actually fall for that stuff nowadays? Hopefully not. Just saying. Okay. Let's go ahead and take on you now. Shoddy. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so honestly, I forgot Shoddy's uh, strategy. Let's see. Ooh, a lot of crush. Okay, so I got to focus on weaker monsters then. I see. One of the best strategies is to just simply try to bypass the crush terrain, you know, and just try to limit him to a corner. So, like for now, all I'm gonna do is just put this card 
face down. And then just end my turn. Because I don't want to put other cards yet. He has the Millennium Golem, by the way. I want to see your, um, your abilities. Extend support range, increase strength for same type friendlies, improve resistance for same type friendlies, destroy specific enemy type. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. <laughs> the Judgment Hand, okay. Hmm. I think what I'll do... Just put this right there. I'm also going to go ahead and move Follow Wind a little bit forward. I know it's a little bit risky to do that, but we'll see. Okay, you are going to try to tag me then, probably. What? Okay. You killed yourself. What the heck? What? Oh yeah, because it was a boosted. That's right, it was boosted. Because you're freaking... That is right, that is correct. Okay, what I'm going to do then... Is move forward like this. And I'm going to go ahead and make a... Uh, dragon Zombie. 2100 attack. And then attack... You know, two movements. Bam! There we go. Okay, now... What I need to do is move you forward. I need to put you in defense mode. That's it. That's it. That's my turn. Let's see what you got. Can you defeat Dragon Zombie? Let's see. Yes, you can. Wait, what? How is that strong enough to kill me? Shit. Prisman is a move. Or a move. Sorry, not a monster. No, wait. No, yeah, monster. What? Not a move. What the hell am I talking about? Prisman is a monster. Jesus Christ. It has 800 attack. So he went up to 1300 and then what the hell kind of buff did you give him? What? That's strange. Okay, you have 1900 life points left. So I can... Let's see. Damn it. It's not enough to kill you. Not quite yet. I could move you more forward, though. I can then put this. Because, see, I can make... I can make Judge Man, but that's... He can't move and attack this turn towards the freaking deck leader. I can make Flame Swordsman. I can't... See, I can buff you up with Follow Wind, but that's going to be 1800 either way. Which freaking sucks. Well, no, Flame is not going to move two spaces, though. Only Pyros. Shit. I'm pretty much screwed at the moment. Not much I can do. I mean, honestly, I think it's best if I do this, but I'll keep Harpulate on that side, though. Which I kind of don't want to do yet. I really don't. You know what? Let's make... Let's make Flame Swordsman, sure. Yeah, because he's not going to be able to uh, move two spaces, unfortunately. I'm a little bit worried because uh, if he summons a rock, he can actually attack me. So what I'm going to do is just put this card right here then. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Final Flame. Okay, that'll do like what? 300 damage or something? 200. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, so his Prisman is back. That's what I got now. Ooh. Hmm. That worries me right there. That card still, for some freaking reason. Okay, what I'm gonna do then... Is put this card... In defense mode, I'm gonna move. Will that will that work though? Will that bait work? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it to see if it works. Most likely, he's gonna go back and try to kill my flame swordsman. 
to defend his own deck later, you know? So we'll see. Well, the good news is that I'm getting ever so close to uh, being able to kill him from the other side. Even if he moves back with Prisman, I'm gonna be able to kill him. Oh no, he actually fell for the trap. Wait, what? What the hell just happened? Oh, is it your freaking leader skill? Oh, you little piece of trash. Molten Behemoth. The power of your pyros. You don't have any pyros except himself. Also, how the hell does that garbage have 3700 defense? Oh, yes. Oh, thank god. Okay, I can... Okay. Let's see here. Because there are a couple things I can do now. I could put Mountain here. Or... My other choice is to, uh... God damn it, that, that'll be... That'll be a little bit tricky, though, to do. You know what? I'm putting Mountain right here. Because I want to put a monster and attack him, too, but that's not worth it, honestly. Let's put Mountain. In this corner. So I can screw you, you know? Okay. So you can't get the benefit of that, so I'm going to go ahead and move back, of course. I am then going to... I'm going to leave Follow Wind there, actually. I'm going to put La Moon... In defense mode still? You might actually attack me. So what I'm gonna do then... Is move back. Yeah, done. Okay, let's see now. What you got? That's fine, you're not gonna be able to kill me because I have enough life points, that's okay. Even if you attack me... Okay, that's gonna be a stalemate right there. Or like, I don't think stillmate's the right word. Stillmate is like, same defense, same attack, right? If you both kill yourselves, that's not really what I'm talking about, you know? Okay, so I think that actually gets buffed up. Wait, no he didn't. Am I on the mountain? What the hell am I on? No, I'm on the crush, right? Yeah, I'm on crush. Okay. So that thing has 1900. Okay, where's follow wind? That way? Okay, what I can do then is I can move follow wind this way. I can then put I can do that. Yeah. There we go. So now oh wait, this freaking thing is right there though. I can just kill him, can't I? I think so. I'm gonna back away though. Yeah. I got him. I mean, when I was doing all that, my setup was to kill, you know, his freaking spirit of the bullocks, not himself directly, but I got him. With my hoppy lady. Yes, hoppy lady. Dude, Harpy Queen is so amazing. My Harpy Chandler, like for a Harpy deck. God damn, man, I freaking love those cards. What the hell is Burning Spear? Millennium Golem, cool. Let's get a Burning Spear. Shoot, I got fucking- That card sucks, Final Flame. I hate it. Yeah, Tremendous Fire in this game, people, is so OP. It does 1,000 direct damage with no, like, down effect. No freaking bad effects. Nothing negative. And you only have 4,000 in this damn game, not 8,000, which is so freaking crazy. It's almost to the point of broken. Like, have three copies of that in your freaking deck, and man, you are solid. You are solid. Okay, next up is Jasper Dice Tutor. Yeah, you're like, what the hell? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, what the fuck? What the hell kind of name is that? But okay, this guy uses an Exodia deck. Yes, there's actually Exodia here in Duels of the Roses, people. But honestly, it's very slow. It's... Exodia is not efficient in this game. I don't think it is. 
what you want to do is basically be aggressive. You want to rush. Pick a side for now. I'm going to go ahead and pick, um, I guess, I guess this maybe. Let's make a judgment, sure. Will I make judgment? Shit, I didn't. Whatever, that's fine. Okay, what I'm going to do is that. Be aggressive already. So, the reason why I say this is because to get Exodia... Okay, what he's going to be doing is pretty much that, what you just saw. He's going to be wasting a lot of cards. So what he has to do is have Exodia, you know, as his leader, and put the four pieces around him. And, uh, and face up, with next turn face up without being spelled. Yeah, so, and then one turn after he puts all four adjacent to him, he wins a duel. So he's going to put Exodia here and have the four pieces there, like that. But like I said, it's honestly not like... Well, hold on. Where's... Okay, you put a card over there. I'm gonna move you forward, no doubt about that. Um, I guess I can put another warrior, this time one on this side, I guess. Okay. And then I'm just gonna choose a side. I'll pick this side. Why not, right? So there we go, he's now in the uh, center. And let's see here. Okay, I got another warrior. I can use a trap card if I really want to. I guess I'm just going to put Tears of a Mermaid for now. Maybe? I don't know if I really need to. Probably not. But we'll see. Put a card in defense mode. Most likely it's going to be a high defense monster then. You can try and stall me or something. Okay, Carbonella Warrior. Um. Damn. Okay, I need to move you forward. And just get rid of these monsters then, because I'm not going to need them. I'm going to do one, two, three. Oh shoot, that makes something. What does that make? Garvis? Punished Eagle? Shit! I could have. Darn it! That would have been good! Okay, move you there. You already moved. You moved. Okay. All. Actually. I don't need to remember it. I don't. There's a reason why. He's gonna be on the defensive. Okay, so it's coming after me, apparently. Oh my god. Okay, why do you have that shit card? I mean, that amazing card, I should say. If your goal is to beat me with Exodia, that's a waste of a card for your strategy. Man-eater bug. Okay. First thing you're gonna do is attack you. What is that? What the hell was that? Okay, I killed you. I must read that effect. I must. When this card is flipped face up, all face down cards are automatically flipped face up. Oh, that's what it does. Now I see. Okay. This one protects eternally spellbinds, activate enemy card, and reduces it. Oh my god. That's just crazy. The thing is, though, how close do you have to get to it? Damn. That is crazy. Did I already turn monster this turn? No, I have not. Um, I'm just gonna jump to my tier and put this card. You know what? I'm gonna waste that one. I don't need that. Again, be aggressive in here. Be very aggressive. Okay, I haven't triggered it yet. Do I have any So that's fine. Power increase. Oh boy. What is he doing? What the hell are you doing? I'm curious. Another fall wind. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna see something here, but let's see. I'm gonna move forward. And then I'll keep you back there. I can do this then. Okay. I'm turning. I think I can move forward to this man and it's going to trigger gravity. What the hell are you doing? What? What was that? Why did you do that? So when you chose your own card, that's very... You know what? That means I don't need my... Yeah, you know what? I got a better idea. I don't need that. Because I was prepared to make a powerful card to choose the terrain. But, honestly, I don't think I need it anymore. So okay, that card's fine down there. I'm going to keep you here and leave your gravity there for sure. As far as showing something, um... I mean, I can just put this card in my turn. Okay, I see. Not until it's 
we can do here. Stole my bird. Hmm. What I think I'm doing is I'm gonna do this, no doubt. I'm then going to. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna move you then. Because next time I want to put a monster here, I'm gonna move two spaces. Yeah, you know what I'm doing? That. I'm just gonna put you right there. And I think I'm gonna kill that one probably my beautiful hand, beautiful head huntress, you know? Next turn. So let's put you back. And then Mariko. I don't know what that means. Spellbound? Shoot. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna go warriors anyway. Even though it's interesting, I had a perfect counter. The same. Oh yeah, that is amazing. Okay. Here's what I'll do then. I'm going to move Skull Red Bird that way. Oh, that makes something. What does that make? Punish Seagull, yes. Perfect. Wait, what the hell though? I'm gonna move you like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy. One, two, three. Okay. There we go. And then I'm gonna move two spaces. Kill your yellow after shield. Screw that. And I'm not gonna activate this just yet. Because I wanna put one more card. One more wing beast on the field. Oh my god. Okay, I'm turn. Why did you do that? You have a, you have a trap, don't you? Wait, what? Dude, why do you feel so stupid? Why do people you have a trap or something? No, you don't. That's so strange. Okay, I guess it's time to go ahead and let's see what I got. A parrot dragon now. Hmm. Put you there. This guy. And activate this. And there we go. So with that, three of my cards get buffed up. Look at that. Oh, that is such a beauty right there, isn't it? Look at this strength that I have. Okay, what do you want to see here? Activated enemy card. Yeah, I can activate this, what I thought. Can I do that because I wasn't sure like, what the weird range could be? What if I move down and, you know, this doesn't work out? I don't know, so. Yeah, pretty much nothing left. Pretty much nothing left, dude. Like, you're screwed. That's what I get. Harpy lady. Nah, don't do anything. And, that's that. That's her. Okay, like I said, Nikki and Zodian here, it's very difficult. It really is. Because of the freaking requirements, man, that you need. Like, it's crazy. Okay, 34, I don't know. I'm gonna lose a tap with you, obviously. That's what she got. And you have Aquamador, I barely beat you, wow. That was crazy. Hmm. Move you over, move you over. Permanent Spellbound. Yeah, all done. Take your turn, dude. Take your turn. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, come down here. And that is an Exodia piece. I killed your Exodia piece. Your left arm or whatever. Okay, gonna move this guy down here now. And that is a trap. I don't really care though. Do you know why? Because I have more monsters. I have an arsenal of monsters right behind your ass. I do. You see this? Like, you're going down, dude. Oh, and I just drew this, too. I can make a freaking Harpy's pet if I wanted to. Actually, you know what? I think I will. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this dude to, like, one, two. And that'll make Harpy's pet dragon. Okay. And, yeah, I mean, you only have one place left to summon a card. And that's that. Like I said, Exodia decks in this game, they suck, generally. It takes too long, too slow to make them. If you just rush the opponent, they can't do much, and they lose pretty much right away. Now, this video is incredibly long, though, what the heck. All right, let's see here. One, two, three. Darn it. I didn't care too much about that stuff in there because there wasn't anything too interesting. Okay, so we just defeated Jasper Dice whatever shit. Okay, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.